Hi, I'm Michelle Andre Smith, aka Andre Michelle, and I'm the founder of the Pembroke Tap Rally Arts and Film Festival. In 2016, we brought you the Pembroke Tapparelli Arts and Film Festival, a festival focused and committed to artists and filmmakers using their voice for social justice and change. We screened over 40 films from filmmakers across the globe who shared stories of homelessness, domestic abuse, war, stories depicting violence and intolerance against LBGTQI individuals. We laughed, cried, got mad at the injustices portrayed on the screen, but mostly we bonded. And I really love the movement. It, um, I believe that it's something that's going to help our people, you know, rise amongst the struggles because there's a lot of struggles going on right now, especially with our kids and especially about incarceration. And I believe through music, through film, through the arts, you can express that statement through that kind of endeavor. So. Our first year was a success. Our filmmakers believe this festival is needed and so does our audience. We want to make PTAFF 2017 happen. Bring more artists to the forefront. Give more emerging and established artists the opportunity to share their stories. In 2017, we will focus on mass incarceration and education. Come to fruition. Thank you so much to Andrea Michelle for the film festival that's about ready to kick off this week. And I highly encourage you to go online if you haven't gotten your tickets for the week because there's an amazing lineup that she's done an amazing job. An American prison. And the president used the occasion to call out a particularly poorly designed policy at the heart of our criminal justice system. A primary driver of this mass incarceration uh, phenomenon is uh, our drug laws, our mandatory minimum sentencing around drug laws. Mandatory minimums require judges to hand out specific sentences for certain crimes deemed uniquely harmful to society. Those who heard about my case, that knew about my case, my case refused to die. <laughs> That's the thing about it. Even though they tried, they, they, they tried and convict me and try to kill me, in which case they set a date, May 1st, 1976. My case refused to die. And it was haunting to many people in the state of Louisiana, especially when the people around the United States and the world start to champion my cause. You know, first of all, I think that uh, the, the Pembroke Teppanelli uh, Arts and Film Festival is obviously one of the most, in my opinion, uh, uh, crucial parts of, of, of the community, and not just politically, but socially, economically, and educationally. Uh, I love the term artist uh, artivism uh, because it's arts and activism combined together. And when you really look at it from a business perspective, I think this can really drive uh, awareness for solving real problems. And, and we're bringing awareness to these problems that exist all throughout our communities. Most of the films that I create or actually put my energy into, now trust me, I'm an actor, I'll get a check. I'll take a check any day. A check feeds my family. But if I'm gonna put my heart into something, it has to have a purpose for my people. Black men in particular, when it comes to being incarcerated, one in three black males are going to be incarcerated in their lifetime, as opposed to one in 17 white males, as I'm sure you all saw Ava DuVernay's wonderful documentary 13th. Uh, we see that the cards are stacked against black people when it comes to that, and it's modern day slavery. People of color make up 40% of our student population, but only 17% of our teaching force. And that's a major obstacle preventing students from getting an equal education because a lack of teacher diversity impacts student performance. Bringing a festival of this caliber to you is expensive. We need your support. We need to raise $25,000 to bring established and emergent artifice, brave and courageous enough to take on the injustices in our world. 
We need you to help us bring together leaders, activists, lawmakers, and community members to discuss and create action plans, strategies towards resolutions of the problems facing our communities regarding mass incarceration and education. We need you, we need your donations. We need you to support our festival. With you, we can make PTAFF 2017 possible. PTAFF 2017, we, we need, need you. you. Go to www.ptaff.org. You see that button right there? Donate button, click it, click, click it. it. Click it, tell them, click Hunter. It, click, click it. it. Click the button. Yes, click it. Click the button. <laughs> Donate today. Really 